twice as thick. Mm. Consider the lily of the field. See how they grow, and yet they neither toil nor spin. Yeah, it was an amazing time for parables, the biblical time. <laughs> Uh, I think what I was trying to do, and I was very much the first person to do this, I think, is um, I was trying to take uh, the kind of spiritual stories that had always previously been very dry and esoteric and present them to people in a way that they would understand that related to their lives, you know, by talking about wineskins and vineyards, fishing. Consider the lilies. Well, I have done. Well, um, consider it a bit more. Yeah, consider the lilies of the field. I mean, it became ridiculous in the end. People used to shout it at me in the street. All the end. Go, oh, Jesus, consider the lilies of the field. You know, I'd go, yeah, see how they grow. You know, and they'd laugh. <laughs> consider the lily of the field. But it became a bit of a cross to bear towards the end. <laughs> see how they grow, and yet they neither toil nor spin. So I say to you, Matthew, do not be anxious about your life, what you shall eat, what you shall drink, nor about your body and what clothes you shall put on it. It was like I could never get away from this lily thing, and I, I, I tried other stuff to do other stuff. Consider this um, sponge. Look, I've yeah. had enough of this. Get out. I'm going. Consider this piece of naan. Not this again. Is it not round? I just never get away with it, and I'd be doing all this stuff, and people would be going, oh, shouting about the lilies. Consider the, the lily of the field. Lilies of the field, field yeah. You say, would you do it again? I don't know. You know, but all the same. You know, they were amazing, incredible times, the biblical times. <laughs>